Thank you for tuning in to Bright Hope, your ministry to help those living on less than a dollar a day. I want to tell you about an exciting story I just heard from our field office in Uganda. Uganda is in Central Africa. We're working in some very rural villages, disconnected villages, very poor churches that have come together for a class on vulnerable children, learning about how to help vulnerable children, how to identify them, and what are the best ways to get them connected back into their family safely and effectively. So a few weeks ago, this pastor attended one of these seminars, and then he went back to his church and he preached that very same sermon that he had just heard at Bright Hope. And in his audience, in his church, was a taxi driver. Not just like a taxi car driver, but a motorcycle taxi man that was out in the fields a few weeks later, uh, ready to take people uh, on rides. And a 13-year-old girl comes up to him and asks for a ride. She looks scared. She's holding her arm really close to her chest. And this taxi man remembers the sermon. And so he starts to question her. And soon her story comes out because she was kicked out of her home by her, her mother's new husband. And he had kicked her out of the home and sent her off to her grandmother's house. Her grandmother was old and didn't have much money. So the grandmother said, you gotta go to work and put her in, uh, into a field where she was controlled by a boss that was abusive. This boss would ridicule her and, and hit her and abused her and even to the point of breaking her arm. So she decided to run away from, from home, run away from the situation. She didn't know where she was going. But when the taxi man heard this, he said, I want to bring you to my church. My church can help you. So she, he drove her to the church. The church got her to a clinic, set her arm. They went back to the parents and said, listen, your daughter's safe in a, with a family in our church, but we want to return her to you. But you've got to promise not to send her back to employment. In fact, we'll actually help you pay for her school fees. And in, in addition to that, we want you to come to our church and hear about how to parent in a godly way. And so now the grandmother and the mother are coming to the church. They're learning about parenting from a biblical standpoint. And this girl is back at home in a safe environment, in a, in a place that's loving and protective. And the church is, is watching over her. This is the church in action. This is what happens when you support the work of Bright Hope. It can happen every single day. I would like you to do two things. I would like you to subscribe to this video channel right now so you can hear more updates coming from our field. And the second is to hit the link on our, on our webpage here to go to our website and make a donation so that these kinds of work in Uganda and our five other countries around the world can continue unabated. So God bless and thank you.